Hi guys! So today I have so much apples in the house today. So today the video is gonna be based on getting rid of whatever's in the house today. So I had a lot of cream cheese left and some fresh cream because I made some Japanese soft fluffy cheesecake the other day. So I'm just gonna use all the ingredients I have in the house to get rid of it. So starting with the ingredients, we have three apples. I use rose apples today. Three tablespoons of sugar and some lemon juice to cook the apple filling. And for the cheesecake part, we have 320 grams of cream cheese, 320 ml of fresh cream, 75 grams of flour, 160 grams of sugar, three eggs beaten, and a base. The cheesecake. So first what we should do is get the apple filling done. So we have to cut up some apples, cook it on the pan with some lemon juice and sugar. So I'll get this part. Okay, so now we're gonna cook everything with some lemon juice. Super simple, just some sugar and lemon juice. When you cook them slowly with a low heat, um, it just becomes sort of like, like kind of like canned apple, but it's gonna be super yummy. It depends on how you, uh, how firm you want the apples to be in your cheesecake. If you want it a little bit crunchier, you can cook it for maybe like seven minutes. But if you like it really soft, cook it for a long ten minutes, and it'll be super soft. Yeah, I really like cooking with apples. I really like cooking apple pie. And my friends had a cafe and they used to make this cake called the apple custard cake that was really, really good. What they did was like they had some custard left over, so they just put in the cake with some apples and it just really worked. Yeah, some things that you have to think like outside the box because apple custard cake is not that really common. So yeah. When I used to make apple pie, I used to peel like 700 grams of apple each day by hand because we didn't have peeler or anything. And yeah, it was quite insane. Those days all over now. I just uh, get to enjoy making apple cake and apple pie whenever I feel like it's not, not for the shop. So I think that's done. So look like this. It's really soft, a little bit caramelized and the aroma is gonna be amazing. So starting with the cream cheese. So what you do is just make the cream cheese really creamy. So now add in the 160 grams of white sugar. So ta-da! And it's super creamy like this. Ooh, okay. So now okay. add the eggs in gradually. So this cheesecake is going to be super creamy. I can feel it by looking at the other ingredients. It's going to be super creamy. That's what you really want in a cheesecake. Okay, the flour. Two tablespoons of lemon juice.
Okay, so the goes in the oven at 170 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Apple cheesecake done.